<laughs> so we're having some fun with this. We've all been locked up in lockdown due to COVID. Um, so we decided we're just going to call this the Great Cayman Escape. We want you to spend the next 30 minutes thinking and imagining about your next Great Cayman Escape. So without further ado, um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I have not been with Clearly Cayman for very long. Um, I have only been with them for a year, but I did live in Grand Cayman for 10 years, working in the dive industry. Um, some fun facts about me. I love beer so much that I went to beer school and now I'm a level one Cicerone, which is like a sommelier for beer. Um, and fun fact, during our COVID lockdown for the first few weeks where we weren't working, um, I became huge into gardening and now I'm obsessed with plants. So there's some fun facts about me. I am the sales manager for Clearly Kingdom. So like Steve said, we have three resorts and one on each of the three Cayman Islands. And so that's what makes us so unique. We are the only ones to do so. Um, I'm hoping you all know where the Cayman Islands are. We are an hour south of Miami via airplane. Um, and we have three islands that make up um, the Cayman Islands. Uh, Grand Cayman, Cayman Brack and Little Cayman. Um, the Cayman Islands are a British overseas territory, so you do need a passport to travel to the islands. Grand Cayman is the largest of the three islands, as you can see, but it's still not very large on a grand scheme of things. It's only 22 miles long and four miles wide. Um, and then Cayman Brack, you'll see, is our next one. It is the most easterly of the three islands. And that one is only 12 miles long and just over a mile wide. So significantly smaller than Grand Cayman. I do love um, telling the little story of how Cayman Brack got its name. I am from Scotland originally and Cayman Brack got its name because it was early Scottish fishermen who settled on Cayman Brack. Um, they found that the island had a natural limestone ridge that runs down the centre of the island and this limestone bluff essentially became known as a brack because that is the Gaelic term for bluff. Um, so that's how Cayman Brack came to be. Um, the brack itself, the bluff rather, um, reaches an elevation of 140 feet and that actually happens to be the tallest point out of all three islands. <laughs> And Little Cayman is the next of the three islands that we have. Even smaller than Cayman Brack, it's only 10 miles long and a mile wide. Little Cayman is truly little. Um, the airport, post office and the fire station are all housed in one building. <laughs> there is only one shop and um, one bank on the island. And the population of Little Cayman is just 197 people. Um, in fact, humans are vastly outnumbered by all the beautiful birds and iguanas that call Little Cayman its home. So Little Cayman truly is an island paradise. So we're gonna keep this fun and light. Here's some fun facts that you maybe didn't know about the Cayman Islands. I know that you've probably listened to a few other of our amazing operators on the three islands that we have. Um, so I'm mixing it up a little and hopefully teaching you a little something tonight. So first of all, the Cayman Islands are not actually islands at all. <laughs> they are part of an underwater mountain range called the Cayman Ridge. Um, the ridge itself rises about 25,000 feet. So that's similar to a very large mountain in the Himalayas. Um, but obviously it starts from the ocean floor and so all you can see is the tip of the mountain which is the three islands. Um, the highest point like I said is Cayman Brack um, and that's only like 140 feet. The second fun fact, Seven Mile Beach in Grand Cayman is not actually seven miles long. <laughs> Everybody um, is always surprised by this one um, but it's only five and a half miles long and you can actually walk it from beginning to end which is really fun. Uh, third fun fact, 
the Cayman Islands are home to some of the rarest species in the world. In fact, um, Cayman is home to some incredibly rare species that are on um, several extinction lists right now. So we're doing our very best to protect some of them. Um, one of which is the Cayman blue iguana, um, which you'll find in Grand Cayman. Um, the blue iguana was saved from almost total extinction um, by a, a really extensive breeding program um, that is based in the um, botanic park of Grand Cayman. Um, the Cayman Islands are also home to the rarest orchid in the whole entire world. It is um, called the ghost orchid um, and it's actually endemic to the islands. And then a little Cayman you will find the largest colony of red-footed boobies. They are the largest breeding colony um, of birds in the Western Hemisphere. So there you go, some fun facts. I told you already that uh, Little Cayman has just 97 residents. Um, and if you are in Little Cayman, you happen to be driving or cycling along, um, you have to give way to the iguanas. Um, so that's a fun little fact and you'll see little road signs throughout the island telling you to give way to the iguanas. Um, and last but not least, one of my favorite fun facts. There is supposedly buried treasure on our islands. Uh, Neil Walker, Henry Morgan and Edward Blackbeard left behind some buried treasure when pirates occupied the Cayman Islands in the 18th century. I've been looking, still haven't found it, but I still believe it's there. So there are some fun facts that you may not have known about the Cayman Islands. So now that we know all about the islands, it's time to plan your next Great Cayman escape. Um, we believe the choice is clearly Cayman, obviously, um, because we have one dive resort on each of the three islands, as we explained earlier. You are going to experience some of the world's best diving um, at any of our resorts. Each resort has a beautiful beachfront setting um, you're going to experience, in my opinion, the warmest hospitality um, in the Caribbean. And if you haven't dived with us before, you're in for a treat because Reef Divers offers valley style diving. So you're going to ask, what's valley style diving? Um, valley style diving means that we are going to take all the heavy lifting out of diving for you, which is fabulous in my opinion. Um, when you check into a resort, uh, we're going to take care of your BC and regs. We're going to have them set up on the boats for you so that during your first morning, you can have a leisurely breakfast, go down to the boat, your gear is already set up and all you need to do is check your gear. Um, when we arrive at the dive site, we're going to give you a thorough safety briefing and our crew like to make very detailed little dive maps for you to follow. <laughs> When it's time to get in the water, where all you need to do is grab your mask and fins um, and take a seat at the rear of the boat. You'll see it on the picture there. Um, we're going to bring your gear to you. Um, we're going to get you all suited up right on the edge of the boat there. And all you need to do is take a giant stride into the gorgeous warm waters. Then at the end of the dive, we're going to do the same thing, just in reverse. We'll take care of all your gear. We'll switch over your tag for you. Um, and we'll get you set up for the next dive. If it is the last dive of the day, we're going to rinse, clear your gear off, let it dry, and then we'll have it on the boat the next morning for you. So it's fantastic valley style service, um, and we do have 12 custom fit boats that are smooth and spacious. Um, so all in all, you're going to have some of the best diving um, at some of the best dive sites in the Caribbean. So here are my top five reasons to dive in the Cayman Islands. One, visibility. A hundred feet is pretty much a bad day in the Cayman Islands. Um, we have gorgeous, warm, clear waters, and it's so clear because of the geology of the islands. Another little education session for you. The geology of the islands is basically made up of porous limestone. We have such flat elevations too that there's no runoff. So between the porous limestone, the flat elevation, 
and the fact that we have the Cayman Trench offshore providing us with clear water all the time. Um, basically, the visibility is 100 feet plus 24 seven, which is amazing. The second thing is um, you don't need a wetsuit pretty much year round. Um, our waters are so warm in the summer, it goes between 83 to 86. Sometimes it can get up to 90, it's really warm. Um, in the winter time, it's still gonna be warm enough where maybe you just need a rash guard or a three mil if you're the coldest diver on the coldest day, because um, the water temperature in the winter is still gonna be between around 79 to 84. So super clear waters, super warm waters. Then we have to talk about the spectacular walls in the Cayman Islands. That's my third reason. Our walls start at around between 20 and 30, 35 feet across all three islands. Some of them are really sheer vertical drop-offs, um, which for me give me such a thrill. Um, some of them are more gradually sloping, especially in Grand Cayman, they're a little more kind of gradually sloping along the west end there. Um, but overall, all of the walls that you'll encounter have gorgeous crawls, sponges, all shapes, all colors, all sizes. The, the diving is just spectacular on our walls. And then that brings me to the fourth reason, photography. I'm new to photography and I am more of a macro kind of girl, but with our calm, calm and clear conditions, that we have in the Cayman Islands. Um, we have very little um, current as well. It makes it ideal for, for all photographers, whether you're a newbie like myself or you're an absolute pro that has a huge rig. <laughs> um, the, the conditions that the Cayman Islands offer is fantastic for photography. And then last thing, our friendly marine life. Um, it's not often that you describe marine life as friendly, but um, in the Cayman Islands, we definitely have um, some kind of resident uh, groupers that like to come up and say hi. We've got a few stingrays who are pretty um, friendly and even a few sharks too. So um, coupled with the great photography conditions and our friendly marine life, you're going to get some great shots in the Cayman Islands. So there's my top five reasons for diving with us. Now that we've decided, okay, the diving's pretty good, where are we gonna stay? And which island are we gonna choose? Um, hopefully this will help you through it. So our first resort that we have is Cobalt Coast in Grand Cayman. Um, it is a small resort. We only have 21 rooms. Um, we're on the Northwest point of Grand Cayman also. So we're close enough to Seven Mile Beach where you'll find restaurants and other activities and nightlife, um, but we're also far enough away where it's still nice and quiet, our resort is still nice and small, um, so you get a relaxed vacation. Our mantra, I clearly came in, is eat, sleep, dive, repeat. And so with that being said, I'm going to tell you a little bit about eating at Cobalt Coast. Um, we serve buffet breakfast and lunch. Um, this may change due to COVID, but for now, that's the way it is. And then in the evenings, we do uh, an a la carte evening meal, which is really nice. You get to choose from a menu in the evenings. And then we also have soup salads, breads, and desserts available for you as a buffet style. Your packages will generally include breakfast and dinner. Um, if you have a package that does not include lunch, then do not fear because our bar, Duppy's Bar, um, has a great menu that you can choose from as well. So you can just order a la carte from the menu. We've got sandwiches, salads, and burgers, everything in between. Not to mention delicious cocktails and super cold beer. Perfect for after your diving. So, gotta sleep at some point. Um, Cobalt Coast has 21 rooms over three levels. Um, there's a few different room types, so there's something to cater to everybody. Most rooms have two double beds or a king bed, um, so we've got lots of different options to suit whoever your travel buddy is. We've talked a little bit about the diving already. 
Um, but Cobalt Coast, um, we have shore diving at this property. And actually, it's one of the best shore dives on Grand Cayman, in my opinion. Um, at first, you're going to get in and you're going to look around. You're going to be like, oh, it's hard pan. There's not a lot to see here. But actually, in that hard pan, you will find loads of little macro critters just hanging out there. Um, so take your time as you're kind of swimming out towards the main uh, little reef that system that we have. Um, because you will find stuff in the hard pan too. So we do have a little mini wall that is, I'd say between eight and 10 minutes swim, depending on how fast you're going. Um, the little mini wall starts at around 35 feet. It's gorgeous um, little site there, full of soft corals, sea fans, loads of schooling fish in that area too. Um, and it drops to about 60 feet. Um, but it's definitely one of the coolest dives ever. I will say because of our location on the Northwest Point, um, it is sometimes a little too windy for us to operate shore diving. So it's always weather permitting, but um, if you do have a great conditions, then it's definitely one of the best dives. Stingray City is the world's best 12 foot dive. It's in Grand Cayman and it's full of friendly Southern stingrays. Um, as soon as you enter the water, you are gonna be immediately greeted um, by these puppy dogs of the sea, as we call them. They're too friendly, almost. <laughs> they will get up close and personal with you. They do love the bubbles of scuba. Um, so fear not, they will get very close to you. They'll sit on your head. Um, but it's such a fun interactive dive and it, it's great for non-divers too. Um, the Kitty Wake is also another must-see whilst you're in Grand Cayman. Um, she was scuttled in January, 2015. Originally, she was upright, but um, in 2017, Tropical Storm Nate meant that she broke free of some of her anchoring chains. Um, so now she rests on her port side, but she's still fully accessible for diving. Um, and she's been there a while now, so um, we've got some growth on there and things have settled and moved into the wreck. So it's a great one for exploring. So here's a little map. Um, I'll use my cursor if I can to show you that we're up in this northwest point here. The Kitty Wake is around here. Um, and as you can see, we have hundreds of dive sites in Grand Cayman. There are 365 dive sites across the three islands. Um, obviously, many of them are here in Grand Cayman. Other things to do when you are not diving. Um, I always put shore diving first, because again, it's still one of my favorite dives. <laughs> But they're shopping at Kamana Bay, which is um, a 15 minute cab ride from uh, Cobalt Coast. There is an observation tower um, in Kamana Bay um, and it has a beautiful mosaic going all the way up. So as you're climbing the stairs from the bottom to get to the top of the observation tower, um, you'll find that the mosaic makes like the scene of a dive. It's almost like you're coming up from a deep dive. Um, it's an amazing piece of art and it was made with 300, 3 million uh, pieces. So um, definitely something to check out. I think it's pretty cool. Um, and then you could go to hell. <laughs> Grand Cayman is um, hell on earth, as they say. Um, visit hell, take a little um, maybe tour around the island, send a postcard from the little post office at hell in Grand Cayman. Um, the picture on the, your screen there, that is a little bit of what hell looks like. Um, as you can see from the kind of limestone there, it looks kind of like how some people would imagine hell would be. So it's always a fun one to send a postcard to your loved ones from hell. We actually have some people who um, bring their uh, holiday cards and ask, ask us to mail them from hell. For them. So it's a fun little place, something a little bit different to do. So that's Grand Cayman. Now we're going to take a trip to Cayman Brac. Um, there you're going to find world-class diving right on your doorstep. Um, we have a gorgeous, huge kind of property. It's very spread out. Um, we have this gorgeous freeform pool in the middle. Um, it's great for uh, training dives if anybody needs a little kind of refresher before they get back into the water. Um, it is deep enough to do that. Um, and it has a little spa jacuzzi on the side. You can take a little cocktail um, and hang out in the jacuzzi after your dive. So 
really fun resort. Um, but sticking with our eat, um, sleep, diet, repeat, we're going to talk about food. Um, all of our meals are served buffet style. We have an air conditioned dining room, um, but we also have a screened in sunroom too. So if you're not into the air conditioning, then sit in the beautiful sunroom, which overlooks the dive shop and the sea. Um, there is a little steakhouse um, at Cayman Brack Beach Resort. Um, it's called Island Prime. It is open just Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturdays. So if you would like to dine at the steakhouse, reservations are definitely recommended for that. And then the Tipsy Turtle Bar is the hub of the resort. It is a two-story bar. Um, huge. We um, recently kind of renovated the pool area as you could see and then we built this huge um, bar to just accommodate everybody. So the bar is the perfect place to gather for a cold beer after you're diving. Similar to Cobalt Coast and Grand Cayman, um, our rooms are decked out very kind of island style. They all have ACs, you don't have to worry about that. Um, Cayman Brack Beach Resort has 40 rooms and it's based just over two stories. Um, and like I say, it's very kind of spread out. So it's a great place for either family vacations or just someone getting away with their dive buddy. So the diving in Cayman Brack. Um, these are just some of my highlights. Um, I'm sure plenty of other people will tell you loads of great things about diving in Cayman Brack too. Um, for me, um, the incredible corals that you'll find there. There is a specific site called Elkhorn Forest. Um, personally, one of my favorites. It's beautiful. It's on the south side of Cayman Brack and you'll see um, a dive map after this slide. And they're just beautiful, tall, photogenic Elkhorn and it's some of the biggest corals that I've ever seen. And um, they're usually swarming with juvenile fish kind of hiding in between the corals. It's just one of the most beautiful um, sites in my personal opinion. Then we have um, the Captain uh, Keith Tibbets. It is a 330 foot um, Soviet built naval vessel. Um, it was built by the Soviets um, in 1984 um, and it was for the Cuban Navy. The Cayman Islands government purchased it um, for tourism and they scuttled it offshore in 1996 um, and that's when it was renamed uh, the MV Captain Keith Tibbets. Um, the turret guns as you can see are still intact and that makes for a great photo opportunity too. Uh, Cayman Brack is one of those places that has some friendly marine life. In fact um, on the Tibbets wreck itself you will find a friendly Goliath grouper. He is known to follow divers through the wreck or around the wreck. Um, so again, their marine life is friendly in the Cayman Islands. Here's our little dive map for Cayman Brack. You'll see here is where we are located. We're pretty close um, to Elkhorn Forest, which is what I was talking about. Um, and another dive site close to there is called Pillar Coral Reef. It's one of the largest pillar corals I think I've ever seen in my life. Um, but then we also have the wreck of the Tibbets here on, on the north um, as well. So it's not far from the resort and you can visit the wreck um, when you're staying at Cayman Brack. But if you stay on Little Cayman, we try to take a day out and um, visit Cayman Brack for the day and usually we'll visit the wreck. Um, and vice versa, if you're staying at Cayman Brack, we'll try and take a day out of diving at Cayman Brack and go over to Little Cayman. Um, so that's just something a little fun that we get to do. Other things you can do when you're not diving. Um, we have tennis, basketball and beach volleyball courts on the property. You can go rock climbing on the bluff or you could take an island tour and just see some of the sites of Cayman Brack. So there's plenty of other things for any uh, talk time that you have or any non-divers in your group. Last but not least, Little Cayman Beach Resort. It's a little resort, but it's definitely not your average resort. Um, little Cave and Beach Resort is a fan favorite. I'm pretty sure it's one of Steve's favorite resorts too. <laughs> um, we have so many guests that return year after year. Um, I think it's just 
the vibe in Cayman Islands, it is small, it's a fairly intimate kind of resort. Um, everyone is super friendly and helpful. Um, it's just a very warm and welcoming atmosphere. Not to mention, our chefs are phenomenal. Um, all of our chefs across all three properties are phenomenal. Um, on Little Cayman Beach Resort, we recently just renovated our dining room. So we have loads of space now. Um, we put in a screened in porch as well so that you can sit and have kind of in out dining. Um, Beach Nuts Bar is on the property too. It's a typical dive bar. Uh, a lot of our divers that come down, they will um, find a piece of driftwood, make it into a little sign saying they were here. I know that um, Steve and the crew have several little signs uh, on the bar from their visits. So um, it's a very unique dive bar. It is a hub of entertainment on Little Cayman. Um, with so little residents on the island, you'll find that the residents come and join you too. It's just a really fun, friendly atmosphere. And then throughout the week, we also do um, some trivia nights. We have a karaoke night. It's fun, super fun. So similar to our other resorts, um, everything is kind of beachy style um, at the properties. They can, our rooms can be two doubles or a king, just like all our others. Uh, Little Cayman Beach Resort has 12 oceanfront rooms. Um, it also has 28 pool view rooms to make a total of 40. Um, so yeah, not much to say about rooms. Rooms are rooms. It's where you sleep. <laughs> so our diving in Little Cayman, um, we have a photo center, Reef Divers Photo Center is on the property. Um, you can choose some in-water coaching with our Photo Pro um, or you can do like a dry course. Um, we can do anything from specific topics that you want to learn more about, maybe wide angle, using strobe lighting, something like that. Or if you want to learn more about post-production of your pictures, how to get the most of them when you're, you're finished shooting. Um, there's lots of different things that our Photo Pro can help you with. So that's there on the property. Um, everybody knows Bloody Way Wall. It is so famous and you cannot visit Little Cayman without visiting Bloody Way Wall. So the fun begins at 20 feet. It drops very quickly, um, very sharply. It's an absolute vertical ledge. Um, it gives you goosebumps just looking down into the abyss. It's a very fun dive. Um, it's, you'll find loads of swim throughs, caves, corals, sponges. It's very colorful. It is some of the most pristine diving you'll probably see in the Caribbean. Um, definitely a must visit. And then you'll also find some macro critters. If you hover around a reef long enough or a spot long enough um, with our clear waters, and again, current free for the most part, um, you can just hang out over the reef and be on the lookout for all the little guys, blennies, decorator crabs, jawfish, nudies, they're all there. Um, and they're a photographer's dream usually. So here is Little Cayman in all its beautiful glory. Um, we are located right here, right by the airstrip. Um, you can see the Bloody Bay uh, Marine Park is right along here in this blue shaded area. There's plenty of dive sites for you to enjoy along the wall there. Um, and just plenty of diving in general um, for when you visit us. With only um, just under 200 residents on the island, there is not a lot to do if you have a uh, topside time. Um, my suggestion, if you were a non-diver, bring several good books. Be prepared to hang out in a hammock. Um, you can also kayak or take a stand-up paddleboard over to Owen Island. Um, on this picture here, our resort is right here. This is Owen Island. It's not a huge distance, um, but we have kayaks and stand-up paddleboards available um, free of charge. We just have to sign them out. Um, and you can take a little cruise over to Owen Island. It is uninhibited by um, humans, but there's uh, plenty of wildlife over there too. We also have bikes oops, available for guests um, that you can use to explore the island. Just remember that rock iguanas have the right of way. And that's it. That's our three islands. Uh, I do have a little video here 
Um, but I think I'm running out of time. So I'm probably going to stop my video and uh, ready for some questions. Are you guys ready to plan your next great Cayman escape? That's the next question. <laughs> so I have a couple of questions for you, Sarah Jane. Yes. Um, one person asked if the restaurants or if the resorts are still doing buffets given, given the current COVID protocols? Um, unfortunately, we don't have a concrete answer for that one yet. I just realized it's gotten pretty dark since I've been sitting here. Um, we believe that we will still be able to do a buffet style. However, it will be served by our chefs. Um, so basically, it, it will be behind, like, uh, I guess a guard, a screen, all these perspex uh, screens you're seeing everywhere, um, and we'll serve it that way. Otherwise, if that is not an option for us, then it will just be a la carte, uh, similar to what we do at Cobalt Coast. It'll be a limited menu, you'll choose from that, and then we'll bring it to your table. Unfortunately, we don't have a concrete answer for that one yet. Someone asked if... Uh... Tarpon Alley is still a dive site in Grand Cayman. It is. It is still a dive site in Grand Cayman. It is still full of tarpon. <laughs> so there you go. Um, and then there was a question about whether or not you offer any multi-island trips. Um, not quite multi-island. Um, as I mentioned, if you are staying at Cayman Brack, we do try and take a day out and dive in Little Cayman and vice versa. Unfortunately, Grand Cayman is a little too far away for us to offer that option. Um, you do have to travel by a small plane from Grand Cayman to the sister islands of uh, Cayman Brack and Little Cayman. Uh, another question is, how long are the boat rides on Little Cayman? On Little? To be honest, for all of our islands, the boat ride is no more than 20 to 30 minutes. Um, everything is very accessible and close by. Is there one of the resorts that's best for children? Someone has a son that's 11 and just got certified a junior diver. 11. Um, I usually recommend uh, Cayman Brack or Grand Cayman. Uh, Cayman Brack probably being my first choice. Um, the resort property itself is there's loads of space. We have a great beachfront. Um, so after diving, they can hang out on the beach. That pool area is a great space to hang out too. Um, and then we have the beach volleyball courts, basketball courts, tennis uh, courts, and things like that. Um, the reason I would recommend Grand Cayman also is just because you have other topside activities with being at the largest island. There are other things for them to do when they're not diving. So if you're just planning to maybe dive in the morning, um, then Grand Cayman would be an option whereby you could have um, additional activities available to you for the evening. Um, little Cayman is just a little, a little too little <laughs> to keep younger ones entertained. Someone asked about spas at the resorts. Yes, um, we do have a spa at uh, Cayman Brack. It's called, um, the name escapes me. <laughs> a touch, a touch of Thai day spa, um, and so that is available by appointment only. Um, we do have a spa at Little Cayman also. Um, that is also by appointment only, um, and I'm not sure if it is open right now. The one in Little Cayman, I'd have to double check that one but there is on the other properties. How about snorkeling in the Brack or Little? So yet yeah, there is definitely some snorkeling um, from the beach um, right out, out front of the properties. Um, it's not the best snorkeling in the world for that really Grand Cayman is the best because we've got the shore diving and the mini kind of reef um, available out in front of the property. Um, but there's still uh, snorkeling to be had on the, the sister islands too. I've run many groups to the Cayman Islands. Um, and <laughs> in Little, we get, um, we'll get snorkelers that'll go out on the boat with us. Mm -hmm. And because a lot of the dive sites are so close to shore, 
That is true. Uh, yeah. They can easily snorkel in and get into some some depths that are perfect for snorkeling, and we've yeah. had really, really good. Yeah, uh, little is great for that because our wall starts a little shallower there. Um, so things are a little more uh, easily viewed from a snorkeler's perspective. So. Yeah, we've had a lot of reports of schools of squid yeah. and turtles <laughs> and stuff in the shallows, which is really great for snorkeling. Yeah. Um, somebody asked about gluten-free um, mm -hmm. options in the restaurants. Yeah, absolutely. So um, for anyone traveling to any of our properties um, that we have, if you have any allergies or um, any preferences like that, then you just have to let us know ahead of time so that we can prepare accordingly. Um, but we always um, go out of our way and we have great chefs who can accommodate any dietary restrictions. Someone asked about uh, the boat pickup at Cobalt Coast Pier. Is that an option or do they still need to take a van to another destination? <laughs> it's, it is an option if the weather is the right way. <laughs> um, unfortunately, with us being on that northwest point, um, it is the kind of windward side of the island. Sometimes you get a bit of current coming around that, um, that way. So um, we do have it as an option, but for the most part, we just take our air-conditioned van, we go to a kind of safer and easier pickup point that is really just five minutes from the resort. So um, it's an option, but it doesn't happen very often. <laughs> and then someone, the last question I have is, someone was asking about the flights between the islands, whether or not they stay low enough to fly shortly after dive. Um, yes and no. Um, yes, technically you can. Um, they still go to 14,000 feet though, um, the aircraft do. Um, however, we always recommend that you keep to the standards of leaving 18 to 24 hours between diving and flying. That's great. So, Sarah Jane, um, yes. I want to thank you so much for Absolutely. being a part of our virtual ScubaCon event. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you know, and I'm sure most people that know me on this call know that the Cayman Islands are one of my favorites, and I've always it's said your favorite. <laughs> my favorite Caribbean diving by far. So uh, I'm a big fan, and the the service that they provide at the Clearly Cayman Properties is is really top notch. So mm -hmm. highly recommend it. As a mm -hmm. matter of fact, we have a group trip going to Cobalt Coast. January 9th to the 16th that we still have some space on and we have back-to-back -back little Cayman trips going in July, July 17th to the 24th and the 24th to the 31st which means I get to stay there for two weeks. Hey, <laughs> uh, that's your favorite. <laughs> I wasn't born yesterday folks um, <laughs> and uh so those trips, uh, the little Cayman trips are limited availability, but there still is some space. Uh, and the January Cobalt Coast trip is filling up too. So if you're interested in those, uh, they're listed on our website and you can check them out there.